Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome back to DCS 2.5 with me Field Marshal Flintlock. So in this episode I'm going to try to test out all the different air to ground weapons that the MiG-21 has, mainly bombs, rockets, guided missiles and cannon to uh, test out the new weapons uh, graphics effects so the explosions and stuff like that at the moment I have uh, 8 FAB 100 uh, bombs loaded and I'm going to uh, drop them on that range over there near Kobe Lady. So I have uh, placed four tanks and four APCs and a TV bunker or TV radio tower rather down there. I'm going to be aiming for the middle of the cross uh, section of that um, two runways where they intersect. Weapons away. Air brake on. Air brake off. Seems that we hit something. Well, my track IR has been playing. It's playing up. Yeah. I think we hit them. So now I'm just positioning the aircraft to begin the dive. This time we're dropping the FAB 250s and this time I made sure I have my radar on and it's in a uh, fixed beam. For the FAB 100s I forgot to do that. That makes your uh, plane's computer a little bit more accurate in calculating the impact distance. Release. We missed again. <laughs> so next is the FAB five hundreds. So I'm preparing to drop the FAB five hundreds now. Hopefully we'll be a bit more accurate this time. Fingers crossed. Again, I'm aiming for the middle part where the two runways intersect. This angle is quite shallow, so we might miss.
weapons released. Ah, close. That was close. This time we're going to be using the rockets. And these are the uh, small rockets. So we're lining up for an attack run with the small rockets. Oh, that was beautiful. So guys, I'm lining up for a uh, attack run with the S24A rockets. These are big rockets. They fire two at a time. Nice. I think we got one kill. So I'm going to go around for another pass with the small rockets. Because that looked really beautiful. I want to show you guys again. So a second pass coming up with the smaller rockets. I think it's the uh, S5Ms. They come in 16 or 32 uh, configuration rocket pods. Rolling in with the S5Ms, the small rockets. It looks so good that I couldn't just leave it with one pass. I had to show you guys again. Oh, that looks awesome. That's fantastic looking. Yeah, I think we got one kill. Yeah. Oh, my track IR is playing up. Sorry about that. Well, we got some secondary explosions. That looked fantastic. Now, I'm not sure if you guys saw the explosions from the bombs really well, but from what I saw, the FAB 500s still have the old graphics, but the FAB 100s and the FAB 250s 
um, seem to have the newer explosion um, effects, the new graphics. But they're not as prominent as the uh, explosions from the rockets. So now we're going to do one pass with guns. Let me jettison my empty rocket pods. So lining up for a guns run. I believe the MiG-21 has a 23 millimeter cannon. So let's do a guns pass. I'm not sure about you guys, but that looked like the same. Same, maybe a little bit better. I'm not sure. Let's go for another guns pass. Everybody loves guns. Guns, guns, guns. Oh, that looked awesome. That was spot on. We hit two of those th those M60s at right at the back. We smacked them right on the engine deck and the back of the turret. Now I'm not sure if the 23 millimeter gun would do much damage to an M60. So guys, to end this video, I'm going to uh, fire some Grom missiles. So I have two KH-66 Grom missiles, and I'm going to fire at that that uh, radio tower, that TV station tower, whatever that is, at the end of that runway. The KH-66 is the MiG-21's standoff weapon. It can be fired from 10 kilometers out. You can lock a particular place on the ground, or you can just uh, um, steer it with the uh, with the radar beam. So I'm gonna try and lock that TV station. Emphasis on the word try. Come on! There we go. Fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. That looked awesome. So that's the Grom missile for you.
it's good to end the video on a bang <laughs> so I've got one more missile I fired that one with a uh, ground lock I'm gonna fire this one just freely I'm gonna try and aim it but that's gonna be really really difficult because the aircraft is you know obviously it's quite shaky and when you're dealing with something at distance it's pretty difficult so I don't know I might I might ground lock that one as well when you fire your first uh, KH-66 the second one makes the aircraft um, asymmetrically um, unbalanced so let's fire the second one now it's going to be pretty difficult for me to steer it just by itself so I'm probably going to ground lock it on one of those those uh, tanks so there fire impact that looked pretty cool alright guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. So, this was the weapons effect test for Caucasus 2.5 Open Beta. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye bye.